Buonasera, mis piratas. I love you. Thank you for joining me. I brought out some of the stuff that came out of the um, tangle. Only some. Because <laughs> I couldn't carry them all. And I was trying to... I tried to, um, the ones that are in there, my husband has to clip for me because either they weren't clipped and they have the um, spring ring clasp or whatever because I couldn't carry them without being clipped because I have to put them on my hand and put them on my like, wrist and carry them all. Or else I'll fall up. I don't want to get them tangled again. Trust me. So I hope everybody's doing well today. I hope you're having a great, what is today? Friday. Oh, man. If you're single, you probably go out and kick up your heels. I hope. Okay, so nobody ever explained to me. Is it date night tonight or date night on Saturday night? Date night meaning, uh, oh, I'll be dang. Date night meaning you go out, it's designated date night so that the guys go out the next night. Huh? Do y'all know that? Because I don't remember. I used to remember. <laughs> I used to know a lot of things. <laughs> but I don't remember that. So I can't remember. Is tonight date night or is tomorrow date night? Date night meeting that the guys and girls go out. And then the next night, the guys get to go out with the guys and the girls go out with the girls. That's what we used to have anyway. Especially if you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Oh, well, it's date night. You have to take me out. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty funny. I'm going to test this out. There's a little chain over here that has a funny looking marking. So I'm going to test it. It has a funny marking right on the top of this little thing. Wait. Right on the top of there. It's on the top of the clasp. And I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm thinking, hmm. Nah, it's brass. Maybe it's a maker thing. Who knows? It's yellow to me. Wait, let me do this. Because this is a really nice snake chain. Now, I might have tested this before. That's why it was over there, or it was waiting to get tested, or what. I don't know. Oh, the chain looks like copper and the clasp looks like brass to me. And they are also non-magnetic, so it tricks you. No, they're not. But this is an awful nice... Oh, no. <laughs> awful nice uh, snick chain. Okay, let's get rolling here. I'm already behind. Oh. Hold on. I have to pick up the daggum thing that I dropped. And that's going to take six months. Huh? It's a Santa Claus. Or no, it's a snowman. Okay. All right, here's is the snowman. He was in that big tangle also. There's so much more stuff in there. <sighs> Hopefully that's not broken. Okay, this is a Mickey Mouse thing. This came from Disneylandia. Can you see Mickey right there? It says Disney on the back. Right there, you can't see it. Anyway, this is a K from Disneylandia. If you have a kid that... Oh, this is a cable chain, too. This is not uh, sterling silver. Oh, and it's got the Mickey up here. So, yeah, this is a true Disneyland thing. Um, it'll be six bucks if you got a K kid in your family. All right. Um, okay. I still wanted to get tangled again. I should have those little bags up here. Okay, this is an M on a Bitchin snake chain. No, it's a box snake chain. Oh, how you do that? Oh, this is so cool. All right, this is so cool. It has a lobster claw clasp on it. 
This is actually a box snake chain. Never seen in one before. It's so soft and slinky, and it has a beautiful M on the bottom. Now, this holds this together because it used to have silicone in this hole right here. Okay. See that? The silicone would make it stay in the lariat position like this or whatever, okay? But it's gone. But still, the necklace is beautiful. $3 for the necklace. Okay, this one, I don't know what it is. It's just a little design on it. It looks like a... It's, oh, it's flowers. Check that out. Okay. You know what's going to happen to you. Thank you. It's flowers. Oh, really pretty, actually. Hey. And I think this is an anklet. Okay. Let's see all the flowers. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And it's a station anklet. And there's the... This has a nice clasp on it. So, yeah, I think this is an anklet. Okay. So it'll be three dollars on the bracelet part, okay? Please don't get tangled. This is a bracelet. Has faux druzy. You see it sticking up? Yeah. Gold tone or rose tone. I can't tell. Roller chain, lobster claw clasp with an extender. This will be two bucks. Okay. And then it's a little snowman. <laughs> He's cute. Let me see. He got a name. No. On a cable chain with a spring ring class and a. I'm not gonna undo that because the spring ring class were getting me with my nail. But yeah, they're here. This is the extender. It's really long. So actually, this is the length of the necklace without the extender. But it's on a shiny, really shiny chain. And snowman. So he's a dollar. Cute. Next time I need to bring those little bags in here. Put this stuff in here. Because this is silly. I'm going to have to undo all this stuff. This one I really like. It's on a um, diamond cut bead ball chain. Never saw one before. This is pretty. Bead ball chains to me just are like the things you pull the fan with. <laughs> But this is a diamond cut. So they used a diamond cutter with diamonds in it and cut it. And it's sparkly. That really, really sparkly. And then at the end it has a heart and it's fat. It's not solid like those stars were, but still it's fat. And it has rhinestones and all the rhinestones are there. So this is a diamond cut bee ball. Huh? With a quit it, lobster claw clasp. Really nice. So it'd be three dollars. Unbelievable. Okay. And then this one is an old one. Mis Piratas. This is old, old, old. This uh, actually looks like a garnet. A natural garnet. Mm, it could be made to look old, but this chain is old. <laughs> this is from back in the day, because you have to push this down to get this off, and I'm not doing it again. And it's a uh, curb chain. Go wash on it. This is gold tone. I wonder if it's gold. Hmm. We haven't tested for gold in, like, I don't know how long. Let me see something. If it's yellow, it, it's like, yay. If it's pink, oh, look. <laughs> We're going to get a chicken dinner on, I'm going to, you know what? That's too white for gold, okay? It's not gold. This is white. <laughs> that might be silver underneath. <laughs> or aluminum. Yeah, that's aluminum. But that even tells me that it's old. That even tells me that it's old. Hmm. Because aluminum 
like I said before, aluminum was used in a lot of jewelry because during the war, all metals were used for the war effort in World War II. So gold, silver, any kind of, any pr brass, everything was used. This is old, y'all. I would say it's older than me. And that's possibly a garnet. I can't say that because I'm not a gemologist, but it sure looks like a rubellite garnet, or a, a rhodolite garnet. Very pretty. Or they did a really good job on the other thing. It even gives off light. It's really pretty. The chain is a little wear, but what do you expect for 100 years old? <laughs> you can change the chain. This thing is cool. But see this? This is old. So it'll be four bucks. Okay? All right. And this is a slinky slink chain. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautimous. This is $2. All right. Hey, settle down. Thank you. Okay. And the last thing that I brought in that I found is this gold tone bracelet, which is actually really nice. It has, it's kind of square, uh, squared off. Do you see that? Yeah. It has a nice feel to it. It looks pretty on. I probably wear it. This would be two bucks, not the regular one dollar, you know, like the aluminum ones. This, I don't think this is aluminum. I think it's brass or something. Okay, so let's dig into this pile over here. Got my loop out and ready to go. Another piece of the broken, whatever that is. Okay. Uh-oh. An earring. Another earring, y'all. Mm -hmm. I love lots of earrings. <laughs> and guess what? My auction box from Goodwill came today early. So we got that on deck. What kinds of goodies? Okay. So... This is a big giant necklace with a great big uh, lobster claw clasp. It's silver tone on a roller chain. And then we have all these circles. They're single ones. And then they put, start making more and more and more and more. They, and then they start hanging off. Look. I can't show you. Maybe I could show you like this. See that? That's the way it looks. Move over, guys, so that my pirates can see. Okay, and it looks that way on the other side. Huh. Here's the uh, clasp and the extender, and the extender does have the bead on it. This is really cool. So this will be three bucks in the necklace department. And some of these are textured, look. Textured and then plain, you know. So it gives off different light. It reflects. Okay? Yay. Hey, okay, you go over there. So I got a bracelet. Mmm. That is silver tone. And it says it's what's on the inside that counts. Ain't that the truth? It's nice. It's malleable. You can make it any size you want. I mean. Yeah. Okay? So, now I get it off right <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy. This will be two dollars. Okay. This is a hair doodad. Earring. Earring. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Oh, look at this. Earring. I love fun earrings. Okay, this is a bracelet. Oh, okay, this has the same thing as the M has, only there's the silicone. See the white? <coughs> that grabs a hold of the chain to make it stay where you want it to. So it's a sizer. Look at that. I mean, if you got fingernails, you could pull. That's one good thing about fingernails. We've had a couple of these before. They were different colors. This is a peachy color. I look at my videos, so yeah, the, this color comes out good. It's peachy. This is gold tone box chain. 
and it has little ball beads on the end. So you can make it an anklet, I guess, right? Uh, my that fit on my ankle. But, depends. And sometimes, like I got a couple of things hanging down off my wrist too. Some people like these um, type of bracelets. So this will be $3 on the bracelet department. Okay. Cassesso. Bead caps I like. They're leaves. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Wouldn't I love... Ooh, those are Swarovski. Those are green crystals. That's hematite. I think this is uh, regular quartz or rose quartz that's not so pink. Mmm, these are interesting. Very interesting. See these crystals? Those are Swarovski crystals, right there. You can tell. They look different. They have a different glow about them. They have a different sheen about them. I love these freaking <laughs> bee caps. They're so cool. And you know what? I turn this thing off. Because I'm never going to have another, another blue box. So that was the one. This is really nice, but it's loose, okay? They didn't tighten it up. I told you when you make a bracelet or a necklace, it's hard to pull it. You gotta get good at it. But they made this also as a class, which, mm, I don't know. Mm. Maybe I'll try to fix it. I'm gonna keep it over there. I don't Y'all are going to go, oh, that's, that's sucky. It doesn't even have a clasp on it. Well, that's what they did with their bead wire. They made it like this. I know it's dopey. They got a, a crimp bead on there and everything. I wonder if I could remake it. I'll think about it. Okay. Yeah, here is a bracelet. I can do this, but I can't do the other one. I can but it's not letting me in my fingernails. There's an extender with a bead on the end. Here's the bracelet. It has bold <laughs> oval links and lobster claw clasp. Nice extender. This will be a buck. Can't beat a buck, you know? Here's another bracelet. Uh, with a crown. I like the crowns, don't you? For us queens. Ooh, that's a curb chain right there. I don't get something. <laughs> then there's a... Uh, not leather. Cotton cording. And that, well, then there's a ring. And a Paris Eiffel Tower. And like a big fat thing with... Um, rhinestones. Then the crown. And then another little bead like for the end. So it's like one of those things that are trying to be like Pandora, kind of, you know, kind of, sort of. The charms are like that. But I like the charms. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. Not so much this one. But it's cute. It has rhinestones on it. That's be $4. That's really cute. Okay. This is like an earring. So I'm going to keep this up here to find a stray. This is really pretty. It looks like gold leaf. Ooh. Okay, so it won't get bounced around either. I don't know how come it's not broken. Okay. You know what? This is the same kind. Just The peachy one that we just had, same, same. So we might keep this up here for stray chains. Denise, why don't you just throw it away? No, I won't. I'm sorry. No can do. Okay. Do you guys tie things on? Like your anklet? or This is an evil eye. It has rundales with... Uh, rhinestones and it's macrame in between so these won't slide around and then cut crystal here these I think are acrylic these two right here so, and then you just tie it on eh? I guess yeah this is a wax cord and it's macrame at the end so I would just do this this was how I would do it if it was me 
surfer girl that I was. I'm just a square knot. Okay, but this is a bracelet or an anklet. It doesn't matter. It's long enough to be both. Um, like I said, it's got rondelles with rhinestones. There's an evil eye, three evil eyes, four crystals. So it'll be three dollars. Okay? Okay. All right. Shut up. Okay, this guy has been making me very... Oh, man, look at that. This is a clasp. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at... These are, um... This glass. Uh... These are leaves, okay? So, maybe this necklace went like this, huh? This is... Braided, okay, these are seed beads that are strung and braided. So there's two, three, I don't know. Let me see. That's about three in each row. Holy smokes, wait, this is backwards, I think. Yep, okay. Oh, no. The insert thing came off. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm keeping this for parts. Sorry, guys. Okay. This is an aluminum bangle that has a flower, really bitchy flower stamp. Not stamp. They, they stamp it into metal. And then they curl it. But it's... Uh, what do we call that? Engraved? Maybe? I don't know what it is. It's cut into the metal. You can feel it. It's all. It's really cool. That's cool. So be two bucks. Okay. So did you tell me what you're doing tonight yet? No. I want to go live. I want to talk to y'all. Because see, I can have my computer over here. And as I'm blabbing away, you be going blah, 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 back and forth. And we could talk right in real time. Because sometimes you guys tell me stuff. And you know I can't, I can't hear you right. You know I can't see you in real time. And it hurts my heart. Because <laughs> until I upload this video, then you can see it. And then you make your comment. I want to I talk to you guys live. Okay, this is a faux turquoise bracelet. This is the big faux. See, they have brown matrix because they're trying to imitate the copper. And these are, you know, just little acrylics things. This will be a dollar. It's cute. Okay, cute. Okay. This is a pop card chain. This is heavy duty. <laughs> now, this extender sticks a little, but this chain does not. And the clasp does. The chain does not. So that means one of three things. It's sterling. It's sterling over brass or sterling over copper because <laughs> copper and brass do not magnetize nor does silver so let's see I'm going to do this at the top I already know that clasp isn't real but let's see <sighs> I think it's brass look see the cast yellow it didn't hurt it. It's a nice, this is heavy. You can wear it. This is a long, extra long extender. This is almost like gangster style. Gangster uh, thickness and heaviness. No, we ever know. But, let me check. It's cool. It's brass, I could tell. No chicken dinner for this one. Okay. But yeah, this is a heavy duty, nice, nice, nice chain. I'd wear it because it's not going to um, break me out, I don't think. It's not mystery metal, anyway, because it's not magnetic. So, yeah, this is in great, excellent shape. This would be $3 in the necklace department. That's a nice chain. All right. Oh, somebody went on another trip. And guess who's keeping this? San Jose. There's a mystery house. It's Winchester. Winchester. Mr. Winchester, and that is right, the family that made the Winchester repeaters on the rifleman. Okay. 
They made this relative, I don't know if it was the guy or a relative of his. Anyway, they made this house that just kept going and going and going and going and going and going and had all kind of little rooms that you go into and you couldn't get out of and doors to nowhere and stairs to nowhere. It's just an attraction um, in California, a big one. <laughs> but yeah, it's a keychain. But I keep those because it makes me feel like I've been playing. My mother went to Winchester House many times. I never went. <gasps> it's a Tasmanian Devil. And it says, I never went. Tasmanian Devil, Taz is my second uh, nickname. My first nickname is Dennis. You know that. Taz is my second. And it's NASCAR. <laughs> Racing earrings. 